the one problem I've had here, of course, adapting to life here in Switzerland, uh, the language, of course, was a big deal for me. When I first came here, I couldn't speak any German, right? And I went out into the old city, right, into the Altstadt, and I, I saw that there was these religious guys giving out books. Now, they really want you to, like, read their book. So they printed out this giant banner, right? And on this banner, it says, read, exclamation point. Except it was in German, right? So it said, lies. But all I read from the outside as an English speaker was just, lies, <laughs> exclamation point. I'm like, wow, religion is getting really open-minded. Really honest religion. I've experienced here in Switzerland. Like when I first came, within my first like three, six months, something like that, I was outside of a cold, okay? And then there was these two kids there, like 13 or something, and they called me over. They're like, hey, come over here. I walked over, I'm like, uh, yeah, what's up? And they're like, can you buy us a bottle of vodka, please? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, is this part of my immigration exam? <laughs> is somebody gonna jump out of the bushes? Gotcha! <laughs> of course, I was like, I was like, look, I cannot do that. That is super inappropriate. But these kids were so insistent. They were like, please, oh please, just get it for us, please, please, just take the money. And they gave me the money. Now I didn't know what to do. I was in an ethical dilemma. I'm walking in Cope, I have the money they gave me, right? I'm walking around, I see the vodka bottle, I'm like, okay, I grab it, then I go over to the cashier, I set it down, I pay for it, I grab the receipt. Then I just went home. <laughs> like, somebody's gotta teach these kids a lesson, am I right? It's not for me, it's the kids, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they learned a very important lesson that day, and the lesson is, never trust a Turkish guy with your money. 